All right, the race is on to the checkered flag as the NHRA finals take place right now and through the holiday weekend. Proud veteran Bob DeCastro is live in Pomona on this Veterans Day with more. Hi, Bob. Thanks so much. Yeah, uh, you know what's one of the cool things about the NHRA finals and this sport in general is we just went from the track and down to the pits and really you can get up close and personal with all of the athletes, with the drivers and talk to them and their crews and just figure out how they do this crazy stuff. And we're with the world champion here. In fact, he's been signing autographs for some of the folks around here. This is Robert Height. He's a, a local guy and you're gonna be racing today. This, this is a sport, you said you grew up in this area, but you've seen in your career this sport just grow bigger and bigger and bigger each time it is it's uh, it's amazing it's it's you know when i was a little kid i knew this is where i wanted to be i wanted to be out here didn't think i'd ever get to be a driver but here i am right and yeah. now i have three championships and hopefully a fourth coming this weekend uh, we're leading the points going into the last race of the year uh but love pomona okay this is this is kind of the heart of drag racing and uh the fans like you just said the fans can come behind the scenes with the pit pass and watch the teams tear the engines apart get their favorite autographs from their drivers yeah. and uh, it's just it's a family sport it's like when I talk to some of the so the new fans especially they come they like we went here once we didn't know what to expect and then we watch this stuff go on and they're like they, they get hooked I promise you you bring a new a newbie to the races they'll come back okay TV does not do this sport justice. You know, um, I've gone 339 miles an hour, and on TV that doesn't look that fast. But when you're in those stands and you see it and you feel it, it's it's you smell it, everything. Uh, it is amazing that vehicles can go this fast. So I have to ask you because you went 340 miles per hour, and by the way, he has a daughter that is now competing here, 18 years old. It's one thing for you to be going 340 miles per hour, but for your daughter to be going at that high of a speed, it has to be kind of quite a, a different feeling to see her racing down the track what is that like as a father well I'll be honest um, I'm not nervous when I'm racing um, but I've, I've been nervous watching my daughter learn how to do this and you know she's going 187 miles an hour anything can happen uh, but you know she's proved to me that this is what she wants to do so I'm, I'm definitely more nervous uh, when she's racing than than I am all right well good luck to you uh, it's gonna be an amazing weekend they're out here all weekend long at the NHRA uh, finals here at the Auto Club Raceway uh, in Pomona. All the information on our website, foxla.com. It starts uh, right now. You can hear some of the cars going, making their way to the track, but it should be a fun weekend. And then you talked about veterans. There are sp special veterans discounts for anybody that wants to come over here and check it out. Oh, listening to those engines rev already gets the adrenaline pumping. Thank you so much, Bob. But before we go, you were talking about veterans. We <laughs> want to honor you. Aww. Take a look at this. Of course, Bob, as you know, is an amazing journalist, but before he took up the mic right in his hand, he was Lieutenant Robert DeCastro of the United States Navy. Yeah. Wow. And what a yeah. handsome it, guy. You know, so cute, Bob. Yeah. Well, thank you. It's, it, it, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It, it's such a fun experience to share an experience like that. You know, you're so young uh, when we when we joined the, the military. and. Uh, uh, I'm still really, really great friends with all the people that I served with. But thank you to all the other veterans out there for your service, your sacrifice. And, you know, this morning I woke up and I thought about my father because my father was a Vietnam veteran. Aww. And when he passed, we had n no idea that he had won the Bronze Star. Wow. And we looked at his service record and it was this thick. And then we looked at him. Mm. It's something that he never so told us about. So that's that so was really awesome. special. So, so thank helpful. you for all your service out there. So amazing. Yeah. yeah. Bobby, thank you. And we love yeah. you. Thank you, Bobby. Awesome. And just a quick shout out to the people behind the scenes here at Fox 11 who have served Elizabeth Floor, Elizabeth our Floor. amazing yes. weather and traffic producer, and my little bro, Saul Ramirez, Saul. Yes. stage manager, who's he's not, not here, here today. today. Yeah, good. Yeah. Let him take so the today he, off. He's, yeah. he's so taking good. a much a well-deserved trip. I was going to say, why is Bob working today? He's yeah, right. Day off. <laughs>